So hello my beautiful loves, mis hermosos amores, welcome back. I am Aleimi Tames and today we are going to see what your person think about you, their uh, thoughts about you, okay? Before starting, don't forget to give thumbs up to the video, subscribe, activate the uh, bell button so you don't miss any of my videos. Go to the description box. There you can find the link to my Instagram and WhatsApp where you can contact me for a personal reading. Also, you find the link to my PayPal and Amazon wish list if you have the desire to donate to the channel. You can donate by Amazon wish list, a tarot deck or an oracle or also you can send me a gift if you desire, you feel... You know, you feel like giving something. I love surprises. <laughs> and also, um, let me remind you, uh, this is a general reading. So all the reading can resonate with you and also can resonate just a few messages and also can not resonate at all. So keep uh, just in mind that this is a general reading for many people. It's not a private uh, reading because sometimes people tend to think that this is private. It's not private, okay? Um, it has to make sense to you and let go what doesn't make sense to you. I really hope from the bottom of my heart, this can give you clarity, hope, good vibes, and help you in one way or another, okay? Now, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be using the Rider White. Let me get some to put you options. I'm going to be using this one, this one, and this one, okay? Right there. Okay, let's go. We're, I'm going to use like shuffle a little bit on camera. It's already... Uh, pre show oh look at that starting this is for all three options you know like when cards jump like that so if you're on a fight with your person there's a reconciliation reconciliation coming soon probably we're going to see that on um on on the options right so yes let's let's see we're going to put this one, this one, and this one here. They may look messy. I, on purpose, let them a bit messy because, you know, I think this helps to do contact with one of them. This is number one with the pink quartz. This is number two with the purple quartz. And this is number three with the blue quartz, okay? So you can choose one. Now, how you can do to choose one? I recommend to put your feet on the ground, okay? Close your eyes, uh, give a few deep breaths or breathe deep, deeply. <laughs> and uh, think about the question, what your person things about you, things about the relationship, the connection, okay? And when you feel ready, open your eyes and uh, whatever um, pile comes first to your eyes, that may be the one where you can find your answer, okay? But do it however feels more comfortable for you. If you have different way to choose a pile, go ahead and do whatever feels comfortable to you. So with that saying, if you still need more time, you can pause the video. I'm going to start moving number three right here, number two right here, and we are going to start with number one. I'm going to start in, I lately forget to turn in my candle. Ah, let's see. <laughs> come on, come on. So we're going to turn in the candle there. 
because I love candles, I love the flame, also I get messages through the flames, like I say on my presentation video, I can read absolutely everything. I can read the candle flame, I can read the hand, I can read the tarot cards, I can read coffee, I can read whatever you want me to read. Incense, smoke, everything. <laughs> so let's see. We're going to see. I mean, it's not the point, right? But here, here I am. Just my, my Leo moon showing up. <laughs> so let's see what's going on. What your person things about you and about the connection, okay? Ah, I'm getting... Mm, this person may... Let me see. We have the page of ones on the reverse, okay? Let's see what's, where is this going. Here it is. We have the... The eight of cups. I tend to get confused. The five with the eight. Ah... And we have the five of uh, pentacles on the reverse. And we also have, here it is, the two of cups. Wow, nice, love it. On the bottom, we have six of wands on the reverse, okay? Usually, bottom energies, like on the bottom of the deck energies, I use those uh, as a, you know, like a little bit of, it depends sometimes, you know, like sometimes gives me a sensation of um, what's coming up next on the situation. Also, you know, it depends. Also, the feelings of the person, the, the view of the person sometimes depends, depends. So we're going to see Angels of the Romance and see what your person thinks about you and the connection. Okay, let's my guides are calling me to to shuffle again like this so i don't know why if i already did it but i guess let's see what's going on what this person thinks about you we have finances and career on the reverse okay we have healing family issues on the reverse we have true love on the upright position great i love this and we have calling your soulmate. Whoa, okay. It seems like you have been trying to manifest this connection. <laughs> it gives a sensation, you know, like you have been trying to manifest this connection. And it's working, it's working, okay? So if you're trying to manifest this connection, it's working, okay? It's working, so keep on doing that because you're going to see results really soon so keep doing that here it is we have oh, aqua marine dragon from neptune enables you to access access your deepest soul wisdom okay spirituality and wisdom are available to you develop your psychic abilities and receive in in a fabo so no knowledge totally we are talking about manifestation here although it's you or your person who are trying to manifest this union you know so i'm going to put that right here okay let's see what's going on here should i get another one angels no not for now okay what your person thinks about you? Uh, it feels like you two, you know what? It gives me, a, just like this card, the last card says, like soulmate, twin flame, past life, some kind of spiritual connection going on here. And also, this can be a true love. Here the thing is a lot of... Uh, Probably not soulmates because for me soulmates are easy going. Usually the hard relationships are twin flames, you know, or at least the twin flame dynamic on a relationship. You don't have to be a twin flame to have a twin flame dynamic on a relationship. But those are the 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 hard ones. To me, soulmates are easy going. 
So it can be like a twin flame kind of thing going on here. And you have been trying to manifest the union with your twin flame. It's working, okay? Like, let me tell you, it's working this. So keep on doing it. Keep trying to manifest this connection because it's working and you are really close to see the results. <laughs> this person have a lot of mixed feelings towards you. This person have a lot of mixed feelings towards you. It's not give, giving me much information about what your person thinks about you. It seems like, you know what, this option seems like it's up to you. It seems like you have such a strong manifesting power that you can like totally change this person's perspective to you and to the connection, you know, like... If you start focusing and trying to manifest everything positive, everything good in a good way, you know, it's going to be like that. But if you start focusing on the negative and you start like, no, this is not possible. No, um, he or she may hate me or, you know, like start like putting your attention on the negative is what you're going to manifest. So here I see a very neutral kind of thinking of your person. So it tells me about the healing family issues and finances and career on the reverse. Your person may be going through some hard situation, but seems like it's getting out of these hard situations. Also, I see a separation here, but it's ending. You know, this separation is really close to end. This person is going to make a move forward with you. And probably this is what, what he or she is thinking about you like you know what i'm going to make a move you know what i'm going to contact uh the viewer and uh, that means you <laughs> i'm going to contact the viewer and i'm going to to tell them that my my true feelings that i really have love for them you know and all of these because you are trying to manifest so here we can have um people that have a strong power of manifestation, witchy people like witches, uh, magicians, um, and other tarot readers. We have like this type of people that knows what they want and how to manifest it. So it's working, okay? Uh, whatever you're doing, it's totally working. So uh, it seems like you learn it the way to manifest, you know. So keep on the positive, keep uh, um, the positive mind. This person right now, right now, may have problems saying what they feel uh, towards you. They're, they'll be like, I want to tell, but I don't know. I still don't feel safe to say it. Uh, but you're really, really close to manifest that confession. So keep working on that. Mostly is what I'm seeing. So this person is thinking about contact you, about uh, make a move with you, about going one step forward with you, you know, like... Oh, I forget. Look, I did all the reading and I forget to turn on my my pink salt uh, stones. So yes, like I said, here it depends on you what this person start thinking seems very like on your hands, you know? It's what I'm saying for number one, <laughs> mostly. Um, so like I said, start focusing on the positive. This is what I'm saying for number one. Let's go with Number two, I hope you like it. I hope this was helpful. And don't forget to give a thumbs up. Don't forget to um, subscribe if you like it. And leave me my, com my comment, your comment, <laughs> your comment down below. And let me know if you're trying to manifest a reconciliation with this person, a relationship with this person. What is going on, okay? So let's go with number two, the uh, purple quartz. Quartz, aura purple quartz. Look how beautiful. This one is quartz like all the way. I love this one. So, so beautiful. Uh, 
so hello hello numbers two let's see what's going on with your person what your person thinks about you okay what are their um thoughts and thinking towards you towards the relationship let's see what's going on here let me see okay we have king of pentacles on the reverse we have the eight of pent uh, pentacles eight of uh, wands on the reverse we have the nine i think this is a nine of wands on the reverse and the two of wands a lot of wands on the reverse we have the moon on the reverse on the bottom okay so let's see what's going on here let's get some angels of the romance cards and see what's going on with your person what your person thinks about you what your person thinks about the connection about the the relationship you know what what are their their thinking what they think let's see <laughs> so we have release your ex we have this one true love okay okay like it we have a heart to heart conversation on the reverse and we have again calling in your soulmate okay i'm going to give you one of the dragons how is this one called dragon oracle cards and see what's going on here let's see okay we have fire and water dragon okay enables your life to flow with loving force prepare for change and to move forward quickly expect the unexpected have fun <laughs> on the reverse great let's see what's going on here seems like a hard situation again we're seeing a strong connection here like a soul connection so contract a uh, spiritual connection kind of thing you know something strong going on here now i think something unexpected happened on the connection between you two that wasn't so pleasant in the connection you know um probably an ex is what i'm getting you know like you two were like can be different maybe getting to know each other or in a relationship or starting a relationship or starting to flirt everything was great was nice and suddenly an ex appears <laughs> wow <laughs> and you just mess everything up you know like it really i really get this energy that an ex came to make everything messy to kind of like destroy this connection it doesn't have to be an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend also can be like people around you too and although this is a true love because i see the true love on the upright here is a lot it seems like um the connection started to have a lot of problems going on the connection started to be heavy for both of you you know there start to being a lot of problems on the connection and mostly because of the ex uh, an ex that came to just like mess up everything huh. well these toxic exes you know <laughs> this is this is your soulmate definitely this person and you have true love for each other you to love each other you to have um this uh feeling for each other but here i see an absence of trust between you two so it feels like an ex came to the picture and started let's say the ex of the person you asking about right and <clears throat> started to make some gossip started to flirt with your person started to make things seems like something that was not you know like to create confusion and you get on this ex game and things started to get hard you know it feels like that this is kind of like the situation i'm seeing here 
So what your person thinks about you, this, your person thinks that loves you a lot, thinks that you're the, the person they want to marry, but also I see this person like offended. It seems like you didn't trust in your person and you trusted more what the ex had to say than your person and your person is like mad about that. It feels like that, you know? And they're thinking, no, I'm not um, moving anymore. So your person seems to be waiting, is thinking that he or she is going to wait to you to came and realize that you have to trust them and not the ex, that the one that you have met for a long time is them and not the ex, you know? Although he is going to be different from situation to, to situation, can be for some like real, re, like this person really didn't do anything and you believe the ex and for others. This person did something, you know, the ex was actually right, making all the noise they make, and your person is trying to manipulate, uh, acting like offended, you know. So you're going to have to use your brain there, or use your logic to see if actually the ex was lying and making a lot of noise about something that was not or if actually your person did it, you know? So your person is thinking about all this situation. This is what, what he or she thinks about the connection with you and about the about you, you know? Like, this is what they're thinking. Like, they're waiting for you to, to say, I'm sorry. Hmm? Also seems like they want in, to make the relationship with you more easy with less stress on the connection you know like i think they they're tired of fighting with you so that and seems like this person is not moving or not doing anything like any type of miracle like suddenly appears in your life and say you know what with a roses bouquet and say you know what, I'm sorry and I love you and I'm never ever going to talk with my ex and another woman or man. You know, you know, this is not happening. So um, you're going to, to either let this person go or um, talk to them. You know, here we need some agreements between you two. So you two have to talk you have you need to put your cards on the table and your person needs to put their cards on their table and say okay look this is what happens this is what i want this is what i accept and this is what i don't and your person needs to do the same and from there like see if it's going to work or not you know this is like me giving you an advice on what to do but this person mostly is thinking on the whole situation with the ex and the um the situation right can be also it doesn't have to be an ex can be like a certain fight between you two but it it is going to involucrate other people you know this seems like a fight either because an ex came and make noise or other people try to uh, take a spoon put the spoon on the soup, you know, and just like make their appearance on, on your connection and mess up things. So it seems like that. So this is what this person is thinking. What else can I tell you? You know, <laughs> you're going to have to communicate with this person and talk straightforward is what I see. So yes, this is what I have for number two i thought it was number i was going to say number one so you feel cold go and check number one there's a reason i was thinking a number one so this is what i have for number two obviously if it resonate is your option and if it doesn't more than obviously this is not your option so if it doesn't resonate check another option or check another video okay um, yes, don't forget to give thumbs up, subscribe, 
Uh, leave me your comment about your situation. Say hi to me. I don't know, whatever you want to do, check the description box. And yes, <laughs> be good. And if you're going to be bad, invite me. <laughs> so it was nice having you. Have a great day, afternoon, night. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs> And we are now going with number three, which is the blue aura quartz. I do love these quartz, although they look, I mean, I, look, I love the way they shine, you know, but they seem painted. If you know about quartz or you work with quartz, let me know if the aura quartz are painted because they seem painted to me like this blue it doesn't seem so natural to me but the quartz is beautiful so let's see what's going on here what do person thinks about you thinks about the connection um thinks towards you what is on his her mind we're going to be checking that <laughs> Okay, here it is, Nine of Cups, mm, Page of Swords, The Hanged Man on the Reverse, <laughs> okay, you are mad to this person, and if you are not mad to this person, this person thinks you are mad to he or she, this person thinks you're going to cut their heads off. You know, this person thinks that if they get close to you or if they talk to you or if they make a step forward, you're going to cut off their heads. <laughs> I love the Queen of Swords energy. I'm sorry to say that, but I, I do love Queen of Swords. Um, this, again, it really sounds like the options I make on Instagram it seems the energy is pretty similar. You know, on Instagram, I make a, a super fast video on tarot readings about, about communication, you know. But here the question is different. What they think? They think you are mad to them. They think you are going to cut off their heads and your person is pretty like on a survival mood towards you. Although I see this person waiting for you to... I don't know, it's going to, because we were talking about what they thinking. You two can be mad, separate, not talking, you know, this kind of stuff. And your person is waiting for you to to see if you come down or when you come down. But I don't see this person really communicating with you or, or doing giving a step towards you. I see this person more waiting for you to get over your madness, your explosive dark side. And after that, you communicating with them. Mostly is what I'm seeing here. Let's see what the angels of the romance have for you, okay? So we're going to be <clears throat> shuffling a little bit. And see um, what this person thinks towards number three and what are the uh, thoughts towards number three blue quartz but there we go we have it is safe for you <laughs> to you to love on the rivers definitely this person thinks you're mad that's what they're thinking. They're thinking you are mad. Codependency, okay. They're definitely thinking you're mad. They're thinking you're like, right now you're, like I said, you're mad for yourself, okay. One more, please. <laughs> this one, passion. This one is pretty straightforward. You know what I get? Oh my gosh, like... It is not supposed to be like 18 plus, but I'm getting some 18 plus messages. Okay, if anyways, these readings are not meant for people under 18. So if you're under 18, you should not be watching this. Anyways, you know, but I'm going to give the 18 plus message here. 
this person is really fantasizing, you know, about how is this called in English? Like, I know how it's called in Spanish, but in English, I, I know it has to be a name for this, but I don't know the name. Let me know in the comments, okay? But here's the thing. Is when you two um, have a sex mad for reconciliation, you know, this person you're asking about, it must be a, a male energy or like, um, yes, the male energy, um, masculine, masculine energy, but you are asking about. So I see the masculine energy. Also, I do get, I get around 60% of masculine energies wanting this and 40% of feminine energies wanting this. So here's the thing. This person wants to have like, you know what, like, like just suddenly like, you know, you're mad and you're like, um, don't talk to me, do, 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 you know, like all this. And suddenly this person like grabs you and start kissing you and have this like sex when you're mad, you know, and, and reconciliate after the sex and have like a, a rough, rough sex with you. And after that, have this intimate moment with you where you two are like after the sex cuddling and you know finally not mad anymore so this person is thinking that okay this person you're asking about is what is on his or her mind this person wants to reconciliate with you uh with sex with sex with rough sex you know it is what i'm getting like this rough sex this like and I, I say I get the male energy because it, it feels pretty much like I dominate you. You know, this person wants to dominate you on sex while you're mad and you're trying to fight him. Like, no, do, 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 do. And, and, and he dominating you, you know. Although it can be the woman too or the feminine energy too. It can be vice versa. But this is what I'm saying. This is what this person is thinking. <laughs> He's thinking about, wow. <laughs> well, I love this energy, I have to say. Sexual energies are fun. Um, is what I'm getting. <laughs> Let me get some um, dragon, the dragon oracle card and see what else we can get from here. But this <laughs> is what I'm getting. Very sexual energy here, very like dominating. Alpha, see what I say? This person wants to dominate you. Alpha dragon. Uh, harnesses the divine ma masculine. See? Is what I'm saying. Like, it feels like a masculine energy want wanting to dominate you. So, harnesses the divine masculine power of creation. Destroy the old. Visualize your dream. Help to manifest a new world. See, it's just what I just said. This, well, but true sex, right? This person wants this true sex. Wants to let the old, uh, your, your energy of being mad, the problem behind, dominating you through sex. And after that, be both of you happy again. It's totally what I'm getting. And with the card, like, it just like, that's a confirmation. That's that's a total confirmation from, from my angels. Let me see. Because I just get like there. I hope you were seeing there. It's like a total confirmation from my angels. So that's what, <laughs> what your person is thinking about. Uh, very sexual thoughts. I think this person, I think you two, already have a good um, re re solve problems to, through rough sex before. And if not, this person wants that, you know? So it's what this person is thinking about. This person wants to give you the best sex of your life, the best rough sex of your life, you know? Like dominate you and after that give you that... Um, that moment of cuddling like you two on the bed and you know like touching your hair looking at you at your eyes 
and already both of you happy this is what <laughs> this is what is on your wow <laughs> you have a very sexual person on uh, your person's mind <laughs> really playful also i love this energy so i hope uh you like it i hope this uh, resonates to you and um don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe don't forget to um check the description box and leave me your comments so what you think about it will you will you be like agree to resolve your problem with your person like this like <laughs> i mean it should be fun i think <laughs> All right. See you later. Be good and if you're if you're going to be bad, invite me. But not not to 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 the situation. Another situation, yes. Invite me, okay?